Yeah, so anyway, if the question is, why does it cause you to go to sleep? Oh, fuck, man, I can't, like, concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> why does the pill cause you to go to sleep and I'm given the answer because it has some property or other that causes me to go to sleep um, the, the fact that I requested an explanation for doesn't have quantifiers as constituents the fact that I've been given as a purported explanation of that fact does have quantifiers as constituents so if information no, no, hang on a second but hang on but we were not talking about the answer that has quantifiers as part of the explana explanation or the response we're just saying the response is just um well, <laughs> the question is well, why does the pill cause you to go to sleep because it has the causing you to go to sleep property right but i was assuming that the causing you to go looking at your fucking leg uh second order property the property of having some property or other that causes you to go to sleep right I think this actually comes up. In uh, right, of course, that's the second. Yeah, okay. Um. Oh, so you're saying in giving that answer, you're committed to the view that there are second order properties, or that this thing has a second order property, whereas you might not have known that before. Right, right. and if that counts as new information, then it's false that it doesn't give you any new information. So if that's supposed to be the problem with it, and sorry, if there's supposed to be a problem, that's not the problem. Or we mean something like much more specific by, um, I mean, you could say it gives you no non logical information or something. I, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, and it can't be just that we're requiring first order properties because that's not going to work in every case. Because uh, in some cases, second order properties will be good enough. Uh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Um... That's why I think my diagnosis is superior, right? Because my diagnosis is, it's, it's a dilemma, basically. Either when you say it has a sleep-causing property, you're attributing to it a second-order property that's definable in terms of quantification over first-order properties. And then your, ex your purported explanation runs afoul of a general view about um, what explains the having of a property that is the result of lambda abstraction on a propositional function. So like the thought will be when you construct a property um, by like finding the variables in a, in a quantified claim, then that property is always going to be explained by the result of um, uh, substituting in for the variables uh, constants. So like um, being an X such that X is red is going to be explained by something's being red, right? Or having the, uh, having the property of having some property or other that causes you to sleep, to go to sleep is going to be explained by the fact that the thing causes you to go to sleep. So on the first one of the dilemma, it just it just runs contrary to what seems like a plausible um, explanatory principle but on the other hand if when you say um, it has the sleep causing property you're really just saying in more complicated fashion that it causes you to go to sleep but then it's going right. to run out of an irreflexivity requirement um, right, okay so just a quick question um, when the person <laughs> asks the question right isn't doesn't the question assume that it has a second order Sleep inducing prop a second order property of um, uh, the sleep the, that property being the sleep inducing property. Um, I'm not. I mean, it's unclear to me what we're what we're saying when we say that it has the what what, what is the fir the first order property is the causing of the what's the second order property the property of having that. 
<laughs> that is so stupid. That is so fucking retarded. No, but that's but that's but that's what's given in the response, the usual response to the the question. The sleep inducing property is a second order property. The having of the sleep inducing property is second to to the sleep inducing property. <clears throat> Yeah, they say, you ask, what, what property does it have uh, that causes you to go to sleep? And you say, the sleep-inducing property. But that, we're saying that's a second-order property, right? I don't, I don't, I don't know. But whether we treat it as a first- or second-order property, it doesn't really make a difference, right? Because it's, it's already going to be assumed in the question. Yeah, by the way, I found, I was looking for, because Ned Bach actually discusses this example. Um, dormitivity can be construed as a second order property, the property constituted by the having of some first order property or other that causes sleep. Of right. course, we can equally, well, equally well construe dormitivity as a first order property, the property of just causing sleep. But now that I have acknowledged that there is a first order construal of dormitivity, the reader may, may wonder what the difference is and why anyone would construe dormitivity as a second order property. In the first order construal, the property F is dormitive just in case F causes sleep. But if we want to ascribe dormitivity to dormitive things, for example, pills, we will have to use the second order sense. What it is for a pill to be dormitive is for it, the pill, to have such an F that causes sleep. That is, what it is for the pill to be dormitive is for it to have some property or other that causes sleep. And that's that going to be a first order property. That is, X is a dormitive pill if and only if there is a G such that G causes sleep and X has G. Um, right, so I, uh, it seems to me that whether we treat it as a first order property or a second order property, like, the, the, that property is already assumed in the question. That it has that yeah but uh, but look yeah, i'm trying to get more precise on what the problem is and, and by drawing that distinction you can diagnose diagnose the problem in two different ways one is it violates your reflexivity and like that's obviously problematic right because it seems right, right, right. that explanations are um irreflexive and then on the other view it doesn't violate your reflexivity it's not a circular explanation um in that sense it just seems problematic because in general, it seems like the having of a second order property is explained by it's having a first order property rather than the other way around. But in that example, um, the explanation would require it to go the other way around. Yeah, you're explaining or you're giving a second order property as a response, but that's not... That's not... No, the reason, the reason why I think this is important is because now we can ask, um, for example, in, in the argument we were discussing, whether either of those two diagnoses applies. So is it the case that when you, well, I, I mean, part of the issue is in the argument we were discussing, there wasn't ever really an it's, it's, it's not clear. I mean, it wasn't made explicit what the, like, what is the dormitive, pro like, it's not like it's, what is it, it wasn't spelled out, yeah. What is the why question? What is the answer? It's unclear that that's the structure of the case, right? Because, um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you know what, what I'm talking about. I mean, yeah, I know, I know. Anyway, that just occurred to me. Because I was reading uh, Jonathan Schaffer, and he says shit like, like he gives like three examples of um, things that he, he thinks would be, um, uh, what does he call it? Uh, adequate, adequate explanations or vi viable explanations, and he says like he says shit like, um, uh, it like reveals general patterns. It um, enables you to understand blah 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 blah. And I was wondering like, could you say all of the same stuff about <laughs> the dormitive pill example? Mm -hmm. Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that picture? What do you say? What do you say? 
Do you like my profile picture, Detroit? Uh, I don't see it, right? What is it? Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> what is it? It's... Oh, fuck. There it is. <laughs> oh, that, that is no mistake. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. <laughs> God dude. I'm gonna get like messaged. I rejoined ACA recently. I'm gonna get I guarantee they're gonna like, message me and be like your your picture is inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, what were we doing there earlier? Really? Um your picture is inappropriate. They do that shit. And then, and then, just... and then, no. and then you, can, you can say, Oh, is it is it because you guys like we're not allowed to have like Catholicism? Yeah, in virtue, in virtue. yeah, you're anti-Catholic. Yeah, yeah. Literally, that. Fuck it, I'm gonna change it back to the Sleepy Mary one. <laughs> no. Why is this word causing my fans to go up so high? Um, Sleepy Mary is great. Uh, because your computer shit's that fucking... Right. Right. Or, Miguel, Miguel, don't you love my new profile picture now, the Sleepy Mary? Uh, wait. It says Discord helper is taking That's my name. Two percent of my CP. I'm changing my name to Sleepy Mary. Ninety-two percent, dude. Discord's fucked. Yeah, since you can't turn off the cameras, it just jacks up CP. Mine's at like eleven percent. Wait, what's yours? Oh shit, my CP usage is actually high. It's like fifty-eight. Oh, it went down. I'm at like twenty-two overall. Fifty-two percent. Discord is taking up 30% of my CPU. It's taking up 500% of mine. <laughs> what the fuck? What kind of CPU? <laughs> what do you mean it's taking up 500%? Wait, 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 I need a picture. I need a picture. Do that again. That's, that's it. <laughs> wait, are you are you getting a picture of Zach or Mary? Yeah, no, Zach. I was going to say, I already got the Mary. I'll get through it. Perfect. Wait, we can get a way better one. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. It's using 30% of mine. It's an added, I think. Uh, Alright, I got... I don't know if that's better, Mary. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. I'll snip it. I wish I had, like, one of the Are you really doing a snip it? Just, just print screen them and, and then crop it. It's just so easy. It must be so. That's probably true. But anyway. I don't have to crop. Oh, Mary's got her hoodie on. Yeah, it seems like I'm in the KKK. 